Hello, my name is Sonny Lacey, and I will be showing you how to use the ACE by DAISY tool for accessibility checking of EPUB files. ACE by DAISY is a free download. The best way to find it is to simply do a search for DAISY by ACE, and you'll be taken to the daisy.org webpage. On the daisy.org webpage, you will find that there are two versions of the ACE software, one that is used for the command line and one that is used as a desktop app. The command line version is suitable for more technical users or if you wish to integrate it with an existing workflow using a shell script or other such. The Ace by Daisy desktop GUI download is perhaps the best place to start as it's the easiest one for people to use and you can use this to check your EPUB files. On the daisy.org download page, simply click on the bottom link where it says Ace by Daisy desktop GUI download. Once you have downloaded and installed the Ace desktop application, you can find it in your Windows command toolbar by simply selecting the Windows key and typing ACE, which should bring up the desktop app. The ACE desktop app is a fairly simple application. You'll notice that at the top left-hand side, there is the File, View, Edit, Window and Help menu, as well as your Check EPUB, Rerun, History and Export buttons on the left side. The first place to start is, of course, to use the Check EPUB button. Selecting the Check EPUB button will allow you to bring up your Windows Explorer, where you can navigate to a folder where an EPUB file resides. Here, I am in a sample folder where I have an EPUB book called COVID Awareness. I simply select covidawareness.epub and select the check button. ACE runs its accessibility checks on that file. Sometimes it's quick and sometimes you might have to wait for a while. When the ACE checker is finished, you'll see a report on your screen that outlines a summary of all of the standards and the severity of the issues, ranging from critical to serious to moderate to minor, and totals for each category. Here, we see that on the sample EPUB, for the WCAG2A standard, there are 17 critical issues. For the WC AG to AA standard, there are zero critical issues. For right now in the Begin With Books competition, we are concerned with the WCAG 2AA standard. So in this instance, there really is nothing to worry about. However, it does make sense for us to check all of the issues, especially if we look at the EPUB standard. Those can give us an idea of some problems that might arise later. Also, the best practice category shows us that there are a couple of issues that we, we might want to take a look at. To take a look at individual issues, at the top of the report, we see violations, metadata, outlines, and images. Selecting the second option, violations, takes us to where we can see the critical violations for the WCAG 2A standard or other violations. Below violations, we have ways we can filter this by. We can filter it in decreasing or ascending order by the impact. We can filter by the rule set or we can filter by individual rules. In this case, we can take a look at the critical issues, and if we wish to see what the WCAG 2A standard has, we can then dive down by looking to the right and we can see for a specific image that it is missing some elements. 
here we see that this particular image does not have an alt attribute and that other data elements are empty within that image. We can always export the report as an HTML miniature website by selecting the export button on the left hand side of the ACE application we're shown a folder where we can drop that report. Here I'm going to just simply name it COVID awareness and the report will automatically be saved in that location. Here we see the report that was saved and it's saved as a zip file. You can send this to anyone and if they click on the zip file they see that they will have a data report and report.json file. The report.html file is the web page that can be brought up where a person can simply look at the report that we saw in the ACE application. Here is the web page for that particular report. Here we can see again the violations, the summary of violations based upon the standard and the severity and a table where we can filter the various rule sets or severity. For example, filtering by best practice, which is always a good practice, we can see minor impact violations uh, and one moderate violation where we can see that the landmark must have a unique ARIA label or a unique role label title. The ACE application has another feature which might be useful. At the very top, in the left hand side, we see the file menu option. Under there, we can check an EPUB or we can check an EPUB folder. If more than one EPUB file resides in a folder, we can select that option to select a folder. There are some limitations to the ACE tool that should be kept in mind. One of them is that there are certain characters in EPUB file names that are not accepted. For example, if I were to check an EPUB and the file name had special characters in it, or in some instances, characters that are of a different code set, checking that EPUB might or might not work. As we can see here, ACE failed to check the content of that particular file. If this is the case, you will see errors, but a workaround is simply to rename the file with a different name. Here, I'm going to rename the file test and in ACE, we can then check that EPUB again. Here I will check test and run a report for that. The ACE desktop app is a wonderful tool for doing a pre-flight check of your EPUBs. It's best to do this early in the process before all of the content is delivered to the Begin With Books challenge staff, and especially before any content is uploaded to the Global Digital Library. Thank you very much for listening to this and watching this video, and I hope that you're able to use the tool and have wonderful EPUBs without any violations.